Hello there, my name is Ian and we're going over how you learn programs in Python. Now you know that Varun and Manav went over Q&A and how it runs programs. Here, we get to bring the programming language that is used by Google, Yahoo, and Amazon to action. First off, you need Python. If you are using Internet Explorer, you can follow the directions here. Go to python.org, click the Downloads tab, scroll down, either choose 3.4.1 or 3.4.2, scroll down, and here's the release files for Mac or Windows. If you are using Google Chrome, you have to search whatever version, like 3.4.1. In the search results, you'll see Python 3.4.1. Scroll down, go to the download page, scroll down, and here you go. You have to click the link for both browsers. It will download an installer, which you'll need to go through the installation process. And that's about it. You have Python now. Once you have downloaded Python, along with the download, you will see that you have downloaded IDLE, Integrated Development Environment, just for Python. What it is, is you put in the Python commands, and then when you press enter, if it is valid, it will echo back to the result of the code. Print prints Python strings such as hello world and integers which is 87. In idle, which is also an interactive environment, it already prints it without you saying print. You have to have the apostrophes. It can also do arithmetic. The double asterisk is to the power of, so 8 to the power of 7. Python can also do very large number of arithmetic. As mentioned earlier, idle is an interactive environment, which means it immediately gives you the result of the code you have written, such as print hello world. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, you could set variables such as a word to another word, such as who do equals me. He goes, goes in apostrophe me. And then if you do who and press enter, it will echo back me. Okay, so idle is an interactive environment it immediately gives you the result of the code you have written with a press of a button because of this it is ideal to experiment simple codes here but down but the downside is because idle is an interactive environment it cannot run multiple statements at a time for more complex codes it also does not save your code. So I was talking about that idle, which is an interactive environment, cannot save code. To save code, you'd have to get a text editor, insert the code that you want to do, and then save it as whatever code, whatever name you want to give your code, .py, in your folder where you save your codes. such as the folder that I, that I save codes in is under local disk and it's called Python code. I've already saved script one. That's the name of my code. And then there's many ways to run it. One is administrator's command prompt. So you can write the path to it. So it's under C in the file called Python code. It is called script1.py and it will execute what the code was. So it says print sysplatform, meaning 
show what system platform I'm on. I'm on Windows 32. Uh, it also says print 2 to the power of 100 is this long number. It stated a variable x equals spam and then it says print x times 8. Since spam is 8, it said spam 8 times. That's one of the that's one of the ways. The other way is you can just go to your for file where you save your codes and then just double click it. And here it says the exact same things. But there's one vital thing: input. This is part of the program where it waits for an input, like a keyboard input, before it ends, or else this whole thing without the input will just run and end immediately so you won't get to see this like solid right here so once I press the letter and enter it ends so I, I inputted the letter F and I press enter so it got its input now it ended so it closed So today, we've went over many different things about running Python and saving Python codes. In the next video, you will learn about Python object types.